Today is Sunday, September 4th, 2022. It is also day 38 of JS for Websites. And today I'm going to do with kind of what I did yesterday, which is just a button with HTML. And then I used JavaScript to add an event handler so that when I clicked on it, it changed its text. Um, but instead of a click event handler, I'm going to do a double click event handler. And the only difference is that I'm just going to have to double click on the button for it to actually change or do anything. So I'm going to go here to my HTML. And I'm going to just put doc type HTML in the HTML. So that's telling the browser, hey, I'm writing in HTML5. Then I'm going to put in my HTML tags. And then inside the HTML tags, I'm going to put my body tags. And anything you put in your body tags is what you're going to see on the left side of the screen. And I'm just going to put an A tag, which is a link. And it has an attribute href, which is where the link goes to. And I don't want it to go anywhere in particular. So I'm just going to put a hashtag, which is kind of like a placeholder. And then I'll just say double click me and then end that A tag there. All right. Lowercase L. All right. And then that's it for the HTML. Now for the CSS, I'm going to target the A tag and I'm going to get rid of the underline. So I'll do text decoration, set that to none. And then I'll change the color to, let's say, black. And the background, which is the color of the actual button, I'm actually going to take from here. I'm going to choose this color, and I'm going to paste that as the background. And then I'm going to give the button a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right. And I'll also give it a border radius property and set that with a value of 20 pixels so that it's rounded. And now I want it to be at the center of the page. And the only thing that I have to control that is the body tag. So I'll select the body tag and give it a display of flex. And that's going to make the body a flex container and everything within the body a flex item. So now the A tag is a flex item. So if I just do, um, let's say, justify content center, which is a flex item, um, not a flex item, it's a flex, um, flex property, it's going to move it horizontally to the center. And if I do align items center, you would expect it to move it vertically to the center of the screen, but it's not going to do anything because currently if I give um, the body a border so I could actually see the container of the body, I'll be able to see that it doesn't have the height um, of the screen. So I'll just give it a height of 100 VH, vertical height of the screen, so that now it's going to align the items center. If I could spell height right. All right. There we go. And what I'll do is to get rid of any margin, not that it really matters for this case, but to get rid of any margin and um, kind of like the space around the body, I'll just go and select the um, everything selector, which is a star, and just kind of zero out the margin because by default browsers come with some margin and padding. All right, and then I can remove the border because that's not necessary. And that's pretty much it for that. So at that point, um, let's go on to the JavaScript, which is the first thing that I have to do is create a variable and I'm going to call it button and I'm going to select the button from the DOM, which again is like the browser's copy of your HTML. And I'm going to do a query selector because that's the best for this case and most easiest. I'm going to put in my A tag. So query selector returns one item. So it returns whichever a tag it sees first. There might be multiple A tags, but it will only return the first one. Um, so now I'm going to create a function. So I'll do variable and I'm going to do on, let's say on button double click, set that equal to a function. And then I'll put what the, what I want the function to do in here. So I want the button, let's say, um, I don't know, maybe to change color. So I could do button and then access its a CSS, so style, and then the background. So it's kind of like a hover effect. Um, although it's not a hover effect because um, actually I need to double click on it in order to work. So I'm just going to maybe, maybe select this color and then change that um, there and reload. So I'm taking the button, the object, and I'm targeting its CSS and then targeting the property, the background, and setting it to that color. All right, and then in order to actually call the function, because if you click on it right now, it wouldn't work, I actually have to do button. So target the button and then add an event listener and then put the name of the event. So for me, that would be uh, DBL click over here event. 
So let me just copy that and paste that in there. And then comma, and then I would call the actual function that I want. Paste that in there. And put a semicolon in there. Save that. So it's not currently working. So let me try something. If I just change this to be that, and then this to be that. And let me open it up in debug mode. Let's see. So button dot style dot background query selector. Let me make sure that I actually selected the button itself. So if I go to, let's say, over here, control shift I and I go to the console, it says query selector. Oh, it's, yeah, okay. It's because I didn't spell it right. Query selector. Thank God for developer tools. All right, now if I click on it, there we go, it works. So it was just a minor spelling mistake that I spelled selector wrong, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, what you put here. Let me try to go back to what I had um, at first here. Save that. And then if I double click on it, it still works. So it doesn't really matter what name you put here, what variable you set up. Um, only thing I would want to do is definitely just change the width and the height of the button so that it's way bigger than that. I could do that with JavaScript, but it's so easy to just do it with CSS because it's easier. So I'll just give it a width of, let's say, 300 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. And then because um, now it has like a really like big area, I'm going to have to center the text. So I'll do display flex, um, just copy all that and paste that on the A tag itself. And then definitely change the font size to be, let's say, 30 or maybe 20 pixels. And then the border radius could be 30 pixels, save that, reload, maybe, let's see, do something like bigger, like 500 pixels, and then font size, let's do 40 pixels, right? And there we go. I think that's a little bit better. Um, and that's it for today. Bye.